Hello, this is the Bible in fewer words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 174, the book of Proverbs, chapters 1 through 11. Hi, Steve. Hi, Carol. I'm always so excited when we start a new book. Yeah, me too. Should we get started? Uh Uh-huh. Okay, chapter 1. Listen to the advice of your mother and father. Wisdom cries out, saying, I will laugh at you when disaster strikes and mock you when you are afraid and in anguish. So is that some of the wisdom of his mother and father? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I think that is mostly that I'm leaving a bunch of verses up. Okay. I have to make a decision as to what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep. Mm -hmm. And so I'm picking out the ones that are interesting to me. But The problem is, sometimes that means it's going to be jumping from one topic to another. Like the beginning there is kind of a nice one. Listen to your mother and father. That's nice. Yes. But then we go on to wisdom saying that that she is going to laugh at you when disaster strikes and mock you when you're afraid. Has nothing to do with the wisdom of your mother and father. No, nothing. Um, We're just going to have to go on and it's going to be abruptly changing from one topic to another sometimes. So no good segues. No, I don't think so. (laughs) This might be worse than usual. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Verse 28. Then you'll ask me for help, but I won't answer. You'll seek me, but you won't find me. But whoever obeys me will be safe and fear no evil. So is that wisdom talking again? I think maybe it is. Verse 20, it starts out with this wisdom stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it goes back and forth between wisdom and God. Almost like they're the same thing. Not likely. (laughs) <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, chapter two. Seek wisdom and understanding. If you search for knowledge, you will find God. God makes righteous people wise. But beware of strange women. They'll kill you. Hang out with good and righteous men instead. The uh, author of Proverbs mm-hmm. uh, really has a thing about women, strange uh-huh. women in particular. I mean, it's a common thing in the Bible, but you will get a lot of that. In yeah. Proverbs. And I'll try not to take it personally. Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, chapter three. If you keep the commandments, you'll live a long and peaceful life. Be merciful and truthful. Don't trust your own understanding. Fear God and avoid evil. I'll put health in your navel and marrow in your bones. You know, he probably already has marrow in his bones. <laughs> yeah. Wise people are happy. Help your neighbor if you can. Don't wait until tomorrow if you can do it today. I did not know that was in Proverbs. Yeah. Don't devise evil plans against your neighbor. Don't fight for no reason. Don't envy or imitate an oppressor. God's secret is with righteous people. God curses the houses of wicked people but he blesses the houses of the just. God scorns the scorners. Wise people inherit glory. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Chapter four. Get wisdom and understanding. Avoid evil. The way of the just is like a shining light. The light gets brighter until the perfect day. Speak plainly and honestly to others. Look straight ahead. Watch your step. Don't turn to the right or the left. (laughs) Put your blinker on if you do. (laughs) And then forget to turn it off. (laughs) Okay, chapter five. Strange women have sweet lips and smooth mouths, but they'll lead you to hell. (laughs) (laughs) Have fun with your wife. Let her breasts satisfy you at all times. Be ravished with her love. But don't embrace the bosom of a strange woman. Yeah, that's good advice. Chapter 6. Naughty, wicked people wink with their eyes. (laughs) Okay, how else would you wink? (laughs) They speak with their feet and they teach with their fingers. They are always planning mischief. There are six or seven things that God hates. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that imagines wicked things, mischievous feet, a false witness, and a person who divides people. Okay, that's quite a list of things <laughs> yeah. that God hates. I think God hates more than that, though. Six or seven things. Uh-huh. 
Stay away from evil, strange, whorish women. Don't lust after them or be fooled by their eyelids. Yeah, those eyelids will get you. Yeah, they wink with their eyes. Yeah. Chapter 7. Keep my word and commandments. Bind them on your fingers. Say to wisdom, you are my sister. Call understanding your female relative. (laughs) Stay away from strange women. A harlot is loud and stubborn. Her feet don't stay in her house. She lies in wait at every corner. She caught a man and kissed him. She said to him, I have a nice bed, perfumed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Verse 18. Let's have sex all night, because my husband isn't home. He's gone on a long journey. So stay away from strange women. They'll kill you and send you to hell. I don't even know what to say about that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, chapter 8. Wisdom is better than wealth. Nothing else compares with it. Chapter 9. Drink the wine that I have provided. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. A foolish woman is noisy and knows nothing. She sits at the door of her house and calls to people as they pass by. Stolen waters are sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. More pleasant than bread shared, I'm wondering. I don't know. <laughs> if it's the last piece. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's, that's a strange one. <laughs> okay, chapter 10. A wise son makes a happy father. God never allows a righteous person to go hungry. Only evil and lazy people don't have enough food to eat. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> pretty judgmental then. Yeah. People who wink cause sorrow. Hatred causes strife, but love Covers all sins. <laughs> People without understanding should be beaten with a rod. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just people have silver tongues. The lips of righteous people feed many, but fools die because they lack wisdom. Righteous people get whatever they want. When wicked people die, they cease to exist. People who fear God live longer than wicked people. Righteous people's lips know What is acceptable? There's a lot there. Yeah. (laughs) But we're going to move on. Chapter 11. Shame follows an excessive pride. Righteous people never get into trouble. (laughs) Kind people are happier than cruel people. The children of the righteous will not be punished. An attractive but foolish woman is like a jewel in a pig's snout. (laughs) Liberals will be made fat. Really? Liberals? Yeah. Uh huh. Those who trouble their own family will inherit the wind. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great line, isn't it? It is a great line. It was a great movie as well, Inherit yeah. the Wind. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Well, with that, we are done with the first episode of Proverbs. That's right. I'm pretty proud of us. <laughs> yeah, Proverbs are kind of fun, fun to read. Okay. Well, on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing, Steve. Sure. And listeners, if you appreciate these episodes, please support us in any way you can. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye.